beings. And yes, they're born, they die, they're very much like us. Uh, I think they're more advanced in their ability to, you know, handle disease and aging. So we, you know, the greys certainly are reports of them living many hundreds of years. I think that's probably true for mantids and humans, and humanoids. Uh, there um, are, you know, some greys, which are apparently what we would call biological androids or artificial intelligence who don't have souls. They're not born, they don't die, they don't have emotions. So yes, um, and I think this is what confuses a lot of people because when people talk about greys, they're, they're thinking, well, they're all the same. No, there's a variation of greys just as pronounced as we have the variation of humans on earth. Uh, so I think that we have to be very careful when we label greys as you know, non-emotional, that's not true. I've had many people say that they are the most loving beings. They've, they've never felt love like this, except when they you know, had their first child or got married, or you know, they are absolutely emotional. And yeah, they live and die just like we do. They eat food, they sleep, they, you know, they poop and pee. This is all, no, there are people like us, uh, and probably more like us than different, and with the same variation we have on Earth. So that would be my answer to that. Uh, and I think well, in some cases, they, with the greys, they are having trouble reproducing. Mm. Uh, so there's some of that going on. I wouldn't say they're cloning. I don't have evidence of that. But yeah, they are upgrading their genetics and do have trouble in some cases. I think they've largely solved that to a certain degree. Uh, but yeah, that does turn up. So I'm not going to completely like X that out.